Hey guys, what's up? Akash here. Welcome to Lean Pro. In this video, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to deconstruct FPX training for you. So if you're not like a nerd like me, then you might skip, might want to skip this video. But if you want to know the why behind, I'm asking you to train three times in a week, then continue. All right. So um, here I will um, cover volume, uh, format, FPX cut and FPX gain. I will talk briefly about all these things. So the first thing is volume. What is volume? Volume is simply the number of sets into the number of repetitions. That's it. Now your, the, the volume can be um, weekly volume. or it can be volume per workout for any given body part, shoulders, legs, chest, back, arms, whatever. So we'll only talk about the weekly volume. That's the most important. And the daily volume will take care uh, once we know about the weekly volume. So my 10 years of research and going through hundreds and hundreds of scientific literature I am convinced of the fact that for your major muscle groups, what are your major muscle groups? Leg, leg muscle, shoulder. Some people may categorize this in the minor muscle group, but I would, um, I consider shoulder to be important and I would. Um, uh, put it in the major muscle group. Then there is chest and there is back. These are your major muscle group. So the weekly volume should be between 60 and 120 repetitions, reps. Okay, 60 to 120 repetitions every week is the volume that gives you the best physique. It helps you to build a really good um, body. 60 to 120 repetitions. What about the minor muscle groups? So the minor muscle groups, you've guessed it right, biceps, triceps, and calves. By the way, legs will have your quads and your hamstrings combined. Uh, let's leave the abs for later on. Uh, let's not include abs here. So yeah, 30 to 60 repetitions is the optimal volume that one should target every week if you want to grow your arms or your calves. 30 to 60 repetitions. Now let's see where the FPX training stands. So if you know in phase one, when we talk about shoulders, I have given you two exercises. One is three sets, one is two sets. In total, there are five sets. All right. And uh, this workout comes six times in a week. That is 30 divided each week. That is 7.5 um, sets. In phase one, we are doing FPX cut. FPX cut has eight to 10 repetitions. Okay. For each set. So in total, this is around 60 to 75 repetitions. If you didn't got this, don't worry about it. You need to be concerned about this. Phase one is 60 to 75 repetitions. Now, when we talk about this optimal range, so phase one, I'm starting you with the lower end, lower to mid range. Um, of this um, range. Similarly, when we move on to phase two, I will uh, increase uh, the number of uh, um, uh, sets and so that we can move towards the higher range in phase three. And then in, I will also give you phase four training in Lean Pro. Um, that is the shredded phase. That is the phase that you should start only when you have a body fat percentage of less than 12% and you have gained around 10, 15 pounds of muscle. 
So this is the volume. That's all what you need to be concerned about. Now, most bodybuilding um, programs that you find online are given by bodybuilders that are superiorly, um, uh, uh, genetically superior than you. And at the same time, they are on bodybuilding drugs. So uh, if you would have read Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding, in fact, when I started my bodybuilding uh, uh, journey, I read his book and the volume that he gave, he prescribed was just mind blowing. He, I, as far as I can remember, he started off uh, uh, the shoulders with, I think around 16 sets instead of seven that's literally double the volume he just started off with that that was level one beginners workout and he moved on to around 30 sets for each uh, body part per week that's just too much right that is too much you cannot build muscle unless you're on drugs so volume needs to be controlled in fact it's not the quantity is the quality is the quality of the reps so what is the quality of the reps? I will talk about in forthcoming videos. So this is the volume. Now let's focus on the format. Let me see if the video is still running. If it is, then it's amazing. Wonderful. Next is the format. What is a format? The format is that I'm um, asking you to train three times in a week, okay? The other aspect of the format is how you combine different muscle groups. So I'm asking you to combine, in workout A, I'm asking you to combine shoulders with legs. In workout B, I'm asking you to combine chest, back and arms. All right, and I've given you a monthly chart where workout A um, will come six times in a month. Similarly, workout B will also come six times in a month. That is every fourth to fifth day, you are training your um, uh, shoulders and legs. And every fourth or fifth day, you're uh, training your chest, back and arms. So this is a format basically. So let's call it uh, format X. Now in Lean Pro, I will give you an extra format that is uh, format Y. You should only do this format if you have, if you are a hard gainer. All right. If you're not getting results with this, if your results have plateaued, for example, you try this format in phase one and phase two, but um, in phase three, you, you, uh, you have plateaued and you're not getting results. So this is for hard gainers. Now, what is different about format Y than format X? Let me explain you. So format Y is where your in your workout A, you start off with legs and then you do shoulders and then you do back. In workout B, you're training your mirror muscles, chest and arms. What's the logic behind this? It's really simple. In my course, Fabulous Body Starters Guide, um, I talk about the X taper. What is the X taper? X taper is where you have this is your chest and this is your waist. You have a tiny waist and you have good legs. This is a fabulous body. <laughs> Forgive my drawing. Uh, any good physique will have well-developed legs and well-developed back. That is a mark of a true physique. That is your posterior chain. In your posterior chain, you have your legs and you have your back. All right, these two muscle uh, comprises almost 75% of your musculature. I include shoulder in this also because 
If you also train uh, your shoulders um, effectively, you get that broad look, all right? So combine shoulder in this, leg, back and shoulder should be your prime focus. And what do people do? They do the exact opposite. They do, they focus more on the chest and arms. So if you have seen a person who has big chest and then if, if they have big chest and no back, and uh, then because of the big chest, the shoulders look smaller, all right? You, if check out this physique so in format y in workout a legs shoulders and backs you're training it two times in a week so that means you're training it eight times in a month there's an increased volume of shoulders and legs and back from six times to eight times in this format uh, you can either but then you need to leave a gap so you can just you should train it either Monday or fr and Friday or you should train it on Wednesday or s and Sunday and then only one day a week so I'm lowering the volume of your mirror muscles from six times to four times it won't it won't affect your chest or your arm size because overall when you're doing these the compound lifts are uh, like squats deadlifts and 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 military presses and 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 pull-ups it will help you to increase muscle because there, there will be a systematic response um, uh, of human growth hormone and testosterone when you do these compound lifts and train your posterior muscles more than your anterior muscles all right so this is format why you should only try this if and if you have plateaued all right so here is the format now let's quickly talk about fpx cut and fpx gain all right fpx cut what is fpx cut fpx cut is basically where you are focusing on doing 8 to 10 repetitions. This initiates sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. I will not explain the science. Uh, in fact, you might want to read the chapters that I've given in Lean. I've explained the concept uh, of sarco sarcoplasmic and sarcomere hypertrophy there so 8 to 10 reps initiates more of this if you're doing 8 to 10 reps then the the overload the the weight that you're lifting will be slightly lighter than fpx gain so you can make do with um, shorter rest intervals rest intervals will be between one and two minutes at the same time the tempo now what is a tempo a lot of people ask me about this tempo is for example if i'm doing a bicep curl all right if i'm doing a bicep curl and then i'm coming up this is your concentric phase and then i'm holding it this is my isometric phase and then i'm lowering it this is my eccentric phase so the amount of time it takes you to do one repetition that is the tempo of a rep now with fpx cut i recommend uh, a three second eccentric phase so you're going down one two three and then coming up one two that is your co concentric phase and I'm, and I'm holding it for one second that is your isometric phase all right so one repetition should take you six seconds right and i'm doing eight to ten repetitions into six seconds that is 48 in this is tut time under 10. all right so we're going to talk about fpx gain now FPX gain. This initiates um, sarcomere, sarcomere hypertrophy. The rep range, yes, you guessed it right, five to seven. And if you plan to design your overall annual plan, then I and I strongly recommend that you stick within five to seven rep range for at least eight months a year. Well, there's, there's a deep science in um, how to manipulate your gain and cut that probably I will come out with a course in future. 
maybe titled Fitness for Pros, where I'll explain in detail the science, exact science behind FTX training and how to manipulate your variables throughout the year and how to design your annual um, workout chart. For now, rep range five to seven. Um, naturally, when you are lifting uh, less repetitions, the amount of the weight that you're lifting goes up. In fact, when you're in gain, the whole focus is to increase your strength, is to progressively overload. Um, and that's how you gain muscle, all right? So repetitions five to seven, increase your weight, and the rest interval will be more, two to three minutes. Uh, in squats, I recommend you to rest even up to four minutes or five minutes. That doesn't matter. What matters is that you are progressively overloading, all right? Um, in, in the Lean Pro, I have many chapters about progression and hard work and all these things. So make sure to have a look at that. That will explain you how to progress in your FPX gain or, or cut. So uh, this is the rest interval and the tempo, you can do a bit faster. Sorry, there's isometric, no isometric. Total four seconds each repetitions. All right, so five to seven reps. If you see the time under tension is almost half as cut, but the thing is the here the focus is not to keep your muscles under tension for longer, but to um, uh, overload the muscles in less time. So that's the focus on FPX cut. We have covered volume, format, cut, game. That's it.